So I was going through my stuff. I have a lot of stuff. I have a place for my stuff, but it's a lot of stuff. Anyway, and I found this, uh, and it's going to be backwards, this poem from 1993. 1993 in Brooklyn. Mayor Dinkins was still the mayor of Brooklyn. And uh, I moved um, in 19... Trying to think. I think it was 1990. 1990. I moved to um, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Actually, Northampton, Pennsylvania. It's right next to Allentown. But I wrote this poem. And I, uh, I found it. It's been in my... Uh, in my... Um, in my closet uh, for a long time and uh, I like to read it the name of the poem is Brooklyn Brooklyn what happened to you Brooklyn Brooklyn what happened to you the once proud borough was turning into a zoo burnt out buildings drugs and decay how the heck did it get this way the savages it seems are running the city the good citizens of Brooklyn I do pity there was a time, and not too long ago, you felt safe walking the streets, and the borough was aglow. You kept your doors unlocked, and your neighbors were your friends. Hey, Brooklyn, when did this all end? Bring back the Dodgers to Brooklyn, I say. It all started when that bum O'Malley took our team away. Can't you still hear the symphony band? Hey, there's Chester. There's Hilda Chester with her cowbell still in her hand. There was a time when Coney Allen was the place to go. We all took the trolley, even though it was slow. Lenny, you took the trolley. Anyway, uh, let's go to Nathan's for a dog and some fries. When I think about these good old days, I almost cry. From Brighton to Seagate, the city was clean. It wasn't polluted. You know what I mean? On the Coney Island Pier, some old men were fishing. As I stopped and I said, I know what's missing. What's missing, I'm afraid to say, but it's true. We don't have a mayor that really cares about you. <laughs> Ain't that poignant. Instead, we have a tax cheat, a fake fraud, and a phony. Every time he opens his mouth, he spits out baloney. From top to bottom, the city's a mess, and it's not getting any better, I must confess. I wish I could turn back the clock, bring back the Dodgers, clean streets, safe blocks. You people can change things. Please don't give up hope. When elections come around, let's all get out and vote. Yeah, so a lot of good that helped us during the presidential elections, those cheating bastards. You, your influence counts, but you have to use it. Please vote the attendant out and don't listen to his excuses. The attendant, that's what they, that's what um, Bob Grant who was on the radio in uh, New York. Probably the first conservative guy on the radio. He used to call the mayor, Mayor Dinkins, the attendant. Just remember Crown Heights, the Korean boycott and the St. Patrick's Day parade. The attendant has divided the city of that we should all be afraid. Ain't the same thing happening today with uh, de Blasio? How he's dividing the city? Unreal. History does repeat itself. Even though I no longer live in the city of fear, I'll defend to the end the borough of Brooklyn that I hold so dear. And on that note, I just want to say Brooklyn will always be my home, even though I live at that time 100 miles away. Now it's 2,650 miles, and it's not far enough. You can take the kid out of Brooklyn. But you can't take Brooklyn out of the kid. That was a poem I wrote in 1993. And I think it still has meaning today. With all that's going on in the city and how it's being run by de Blasio and Como, the homo. They're just ruining the city. People, are, people with money are leaving the city in droves. I can't blame them. You know? Uh, their policies are wrecking... New York, the shutdown, 
phony excuses, raising taxes, how much you're going to take, I don't know, but um, I'm still not giving up, I'm still not giving up, have a great day everybody.